Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Red Wolf TV. I'm Tim, and I have realized that we've been doing a lot of Japanese products recently, and we are going to continue with that trend. Here we have Marushin's M1887 Woodstock Shell Ejecting Lever Action Terminated Towing Shotgunning. Ever since we placed this on our gun wall, I noticed that a lot of you have been oogly eyed over it, so I thought I may as well bring it out and finally get it over and done with. Full grip and the pistol grip here is actually made out of real wood. The receiver and barrel is plastic and the magazine tube and the mechanism itself is made out of metal. It weighs at approximately 1.7 kilos, which is 3.8 pounds. It's about 67 centimeters long, which is just over 26 inches. So why is this so cool? I know it's been in Terminator 2 and the way Arnold Schwarzenegger used it just made you want to buy one for yourself. But there are other reasons as to why it is so cool. One thing you can never get enough of is this. The shell ejection and the lever action. I remember reviewing a lever action rifle several episodes ago and you guys asked me how I did the 360 trick. So I'm gonna show you how to do it with this one. So you have the lever open, these two fingers inside facing up towards the sky. And what you do with your right hand is you push it forward and then bring it back and hopefully you catch it in your right hand. With your left hand, you bring that towards your face as you're doing so, so hopefully you don't smack yourself in the face. So this is how you're gonna do it. And I have five shells in there just to show that I'm actually doing the full lever action. One, two, three, four, five. It comes with five shells, all holding one 8mm BB. And if you feel as if five is not enough, then you can buy plenty more. Now this is how you charge the gas. Pull the lever down, turn it upside down, and this is the gas chamber here. If you try to put the gas can in there, it won't reach. So it comes with this adapter here. You put the adapter on top of the can, and the can into this hole, and charge it like this. Now to insert the shells. This here is the shell ejecting system. You put the shell onto that, apply pressure, and then into the magazine tube. The shotgun can store five shells in the magazine tube and one in the actual chamber. For this chrono test, I'll be using 8mm BBs with green gas. That is all that I have for you right now. If there is any random item that I do put on the wall that you want me to review, I'll get right on that. So for this cool product and many more, go to our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com. There is plenty more where that came from, and if you have missed out some of our previous videos, be sure to check out one of these.